Welcome to the 2023 Superhero Awards. I'm your host Neon Nerds and let's get right into it. Right off the bat, I would just like to say that this is purely my opinion. If you have a different opinion about these awards, please do let me know in the comments. But anyway, there are many different categories in this. Now for each category, there will also be the best and the worst. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be sh Language. We'll start off with the movie posters. And your grandma probably told you, always ask for good news first. Well, guess what? I'm not your grandma, so I'm going to give you the worst one first. Now, the award at the end is the one you probably want to wait for. Make sure to watch the video through fully so you can see what the final award is. And it's a special one. And so, starting off, we'll talk about the first thing that we see for any of the movies. And that is best poster. Now, in terms of poster, I'm talking about purely about the posters of the movies and shows that came out in 2023. Now, we did get posters for 2024 projects in 2023 and we did get the posters for 2023 projects in 2022 but for simplicity's sake purely the projects from 2023 their posters now this both best and worst is being picked up by one movie and one movie only and that is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania the worst one is probably the floating heads one I mean it's just the floating head however the best one and usually Ant-Man always has the best Marvel posters purely because it just shows exactly what the film is and in this one we see Ant-Man and the Wasp extremely small on Kang's finger and it's a pretty cool poster it's a pretty different poster than what we normally get and so this one wins both awards now the next thing is trailer slash teaser I could do separate ones for teaser and trailer but most of the time they're still called the trailer now the worst trailer by far has to be for the Marvels I am shocked shocked well, not that shocked. The final trailer for the Marvels before the film came out, mainly because it just pulled out all the spoilers possible in the film. And you don't really want that in a movie trailer. You want to be able to create hype for the film without spoiling the entire film. In the trailer, we do see Valkyrie, glimpses of the post credit scene, hints about the X-Men, everything. And that's not good for a trailer. However, the best trailer, what caused a um, crazy amount of hype for the film without spoiling any of it, was the Across the Spider-Verse trailer, which we watched the trailer and were very confused why Miguel was chasing off the Marvel even though Miles is the good guy and we do see in the movie why but it did entice us to go watch the movie and so Across the Spider-Verse wins the best trailer award now next up we have TV shows there were only really a handful of TV shows this year but the worst TV show by far mainly because of how much they butchered the show William? What a surprise! Compared to the comic book, is Secret Invasion. That show started off such a high note. Episode 1 was probably one of the best episodes in any Disney Plus show yet. And it only went downhill from there. It went from less of a spy thriller, espionage type thing, to more of a just a Nick Fury and a Squirrel Buddies CGI battle. And it ruined the show. You're just ruining it! Secret Invasion is one of the most interesting storylines in the comics. And for them to butcher it like that sucks. Now for the best TV show, again, many contenders however i feel like it must go to loki purely because of the arc between loki season one and two and how loki has the perfect ending and everything about the show is perfect and there's only very few minor gripes here and there but check out my review for that invincible was not considered for this award mainly because only half the season came out in 2023 and it feels fair to judge the season as a whole rather than just half the season so that will be in the 2024 one now for the best and the worst movie of the year now the worst movie <laughs> actually has a very many amount of contenders there's the flash there's that man and the wasp quantumania there's possibly a few others here and there now the marvels before anyone starts commenting saying he didn't include the, Mar the marvels was decent realistically for the amount of hype it had and what it delivered it pretty much delivered what you expected there wasn't any disappointment watching the film it's just no one really cared going into the film so after finishing the film no one really cared about the film therefore it served its purpose even though it is not a great film I'm man and the wasp quantum has already won an award but that doesn't stop it from being considered the flash was hyped up to be one of the biggest movies in dc's history it was supposed to be the no way home of the dc universe and then it was switched to reboot the dc universe and then what we got was well babies in a microwave what bro what are you talking about man now, we can't fully put the blame on the film itself, mainly because of what was happening behind the scenes with DC Studios, where people were coming back and forth, and so it was unclear what the film's purpose was. However, Ammon and the Wasp Quantumania had so much hype riding on it, because it was Kang's first introduction to the MCU, and Kang being the next big bad, we expected a Thanos-level introduction, but instead we got him being destroyed by ants. Ants. WHAT?! 
and I'm not kidding I genuinely walked out of it feeling very disappointed even though Kang is my favorite villain I like Ant-Man and his films but the award has to go to Ant-Man with a close second for The Flash so maybe this could be a joint award if they're willing to share as for the best movie I feel like it's very clear what the best movie will be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was considered but it does have a few flaws around there and I'm also not a huge fan of the Guardians however I'm a huge Spider-Man fan so the bias is gonna take over big fan of Spider-Man and therefore across the spider us has won the award for the best superhero movie of 2023 now for the final category and there is no worst in this only best category and that is the best superhero introduced in 2023 now we got introduced to many new superheroes there are many spider people and many other people who were introduced in 2023 now this award will go to two people mainly because there isn't a best and worst so there can be two one is hobie hobie brown in spider-man across the spider us is probably the biggest ally to miles in the entire film he was betrayed by the people who he trusted and loved the most and hobu came out of nowhere and was an absolute g so the best superhero award goes to hobi the second award goes to kahori now kahori we did see for one episode but in what if season two her episode was probably one of the best episodes of the show and her introduction was very cool she has tesseract based powers and so on and she's very powerful so she is very cool therefore she gets the second award now let me know what you guys thought for each one in the comments below and next year i might do something different so subscribe so you can be sure to find out when that drops